Hello, hello, my Starless family. It's me, the Metaverse Explorer. Guess what? Showroom 2.1 has officially gone live. You can go ahead, go to the Epic's Game Store, update it. It does take a while to update, being honest, but it's a big game, you know? So we have it now. I'm going to take this video, just 20 minutes. Let's go through the showroom. Let's see some new stuff that we can discover, and let's just walk around a bit, see what it's like. There is an experimental mode we're going to see. We're going to see the new jetpacks. We're going to see some new ships, and we're just going to see um, uh, Outpost 60. Uh, 39 or something like that it's called as well as the only space station so there's actually a whole bunch to do i'm gonna rush through all of this because i want to make my videos a bit shorter just for you but don't worry i will focus individually on e uh, on each of these different releases in a separate video so for now make sure you update star atlas um and you go ahead and log in with a new account or with a ledger seed phrase that you have uh previously stored Nice, I got some chai tea. I'm ready to go. So first off, when you log in, you will see a new tab here called Experimental Mode. All right, you can go ahead and click that now. But what that basically gives you is it gives you a few extra maps to work with. But for now, let's look at the options because I do love to get my options right. First off, I am in uh, 1920 by 1080. It is a little bit laggy because I'm also downloading. I'm also um, recording at the same time. Being honest, my computer is not that great. I am looking to upgrade, but I'm waiting for a little bit. The uh, uh, presets, you can go medium all the way to ultra. I'm actually just going to go to the um, low, being honest, just because I'm not sure how the uh, uh, FPS is going to look like when I am playing this with a shitty computer and also, um, you know, recording at the same time. So I'm just going to go low for now. Now, trust me, it won't look as beautiful as it should be because it usually looks gorgeous. Okay. But um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. And I also want it to run smoothly because I, I really, it looks like fine just the way it is. That's on uh, low. I'm happy with that even. Now let's go to the loadout. First thing you will notice that uh, you still have your character skins, right? Nothing different with the character skins, but let's go back, click on experimental mode. And let's go back to the loadout. You will see a new one, Experimental Skins. Click on that and you have some outlines of some new uh, um, uh, uh, people that you could be able to play with. You can't play with it in this release, but later on down the line. This is where they'll be coming later. So of course, this is a Punab. Let's go ahead and um, I wish I just named them. Punab, we have the Royalty Punab because they're much, much smaller. We have what looks to be an Oni or a Miris, if I'm not wrong. We have what looks to be an Uster, um, either an Uster or like an Oni that has a um, kind of uh, a exosuit on because it's flashing. You can see that. Man, I just wish we could see this so badly. And then you have an Ursa as well in the back. Now that looks like something from, you know, um, um, that game where like there's the black things that are floating in the sky with Norman Reedus. I don't know what it's called. I forget what it's called. You know the game I'm talking about. And then we have lastly, we have, I forget what uh, alien species this was, but we have seen a model of this previously already. So that's just there. That's just something to keep you entertained. Let's go back. Let's actually load in and go and play some stuff, shall we? So when you click on experimental mode, make sure you do actually check out at the top. You have the showroom, which is a normal showroom, right? They say different ships available for test flight every few days. Now you can click right. You can go to the showroom, which is experimental. And then you can go to the flight trainer, but also outpost 39, which is experimental as well as the only CSS space station. So um, let's go ahead and just load up the normal showroom, just vanilla showroom, right? Actually, now nah, let's go to experimental. Let's go all the way experimental solo play. Now, I hope it doesn't take too long. I told you my computer is not that powerful. So yeah, I'm just uh, um, hoping this turns out actually quite okay. Okay, I'm just gonna wait one second for it to fully load up. It doesn't look as gorgeous as it should because it is on low settings, but as you can see, it is still pretty smooth. And I'm very happy with that. Okay, first up, jetpack, space, and keep going. Yeah, there we go, baby. There we go. Looks nice. Looks nice. Now, what I'm actually going to do, I'm actually going to pull this down so that you can see the full screen. We'll get rid of APL while I'm doing my gameplay. Yeah, how's that? Is that look okay? Let's go. Let's keep going. All right. Now, nah, I, I actually like APL in there. I want to bring it back. Nah, I want to bring it back. Maybe I'll make it smaller. I will make it much smaller. Sorry, give me a second. Yeah. Okay, that looks okay. Now, now, let's see what we can go ahead and do. 
Now, I actually didn't notice, but this seemed to be new. This thing. This, uh, like, I remember this being on the bottom, but I don't remember being ships on top of it. Either way, that's still okay. Nothing much has changed in the showroom, except everything. Look at how far you can see. You, we can go and see the racetrack. You can see it all the way in the distance there. But for now, I'm just going to load up one ship so that we can just play around, right? And you can see a whole bunch of new changes. Already, it's very much easier to get around um, in your space, in your um, teleport. And not the teleport, sorry, the jetpack. So I've, I've logged in into my ledger, so I do have quite a few ships here. You can already load up the Floyd liner, but everyone's seen the Floyd liner, right? I want to load up the Calico Hero. Now, the Calico uh, the Calico Compact Hero is in a gray box. It's flyable, um, and you, you can tell what uh, stage they're in because they actually do tell you there. When you click on it, it turns up um, just right behind my face here. So I'm going to get the Calico Compact Hero, and let's have a look. Let's just do a walkthrough. Now, look at it. It looks gorgeous. Let's go and see. Oh, my God. It looks so good. Oh, this is one of the few ships that they fully fleshed out. Not many ships have been fully fleshed out, being honest, but you can see here, it's ready to go. There's a gun on the side. Let's walk all the way around. Oh, why walk when you can jetpack around? Ah, it looks gorgeous. Okay, now, something we can do for this Calico Hero is we can actually go inside. Now, I, I, I was playing this just briefly before. I found a sh little shortcut in. Um, it's the... Oh, oh, no, I missed it. It's the... Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. Sorry, I need a bit of a... Uh, there we go. So you can land on it, but you can also just <laughs> go all the way in. Nice. Now let's go all the way to the actual front of the ship, shall we? There is different uh, two levels to it. Okay, that's the front of the entire ship. You can go ahead and press F and fly it. But I want to start all the way at the bottom, okay? At the bottom where you'll get in. So that is the bottom. Let's go ahead and open the back. There we go. There we go. Awesome. So that's, of, that's the Calico Compact Hero. Let's go in all the way. Excuse me. Now, let's just have a little brief view. Nothing here, nothing there. I do like this little eject button, uh, little co uh, places maybe to put suits or whatever. There is a, um, a uh, little, uh, you know, healthcare thinking thing. But I did see this and I was like, oh, these guys are putting in little teasers for us. Those are semi-automatic kind of rifles that are lying there. You can't see, you can't zoom in very well, but with further mode, you might be able to. But you can see, obviously, they are guns, right? They are guns. Let's go ahead and go to the front section which is where you'll be able to get some pilot seats and you can go and fly. Let's go. There's one more uh, seat there. One more seat at the top. That must be the captain's seat. And the second level. You can see some sleeping quarters. One, two, three, four. Awesome sleeping quarters. Thank you. I'm just running through this, right? This must be maybe a mess hall or something. I'm not sure the components of the um, Calico Compact Hero. But you can see there's two doors there. Let's go all the way to the left. The left door leads to a potty potty <laughs> uh, for the little dookies and of course a shower and everything else. And then the second door also leads to what seems to be like a reactor or some kind of maybe power, of course. So yeah, you can, you can walk around the Calico Compact Hero, which is pretty nice, right? Pretty, pretty nice. Now, should we fly it? Should we fly it, guys? Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, amazing. This is the new flight mode that we have. Now, some of the sounds aren't quite there yet, but you can see, ah, oh, even the, the weapons work well. Oh, do you hear that? Let's go ahead and listen. Nice. Nice. Whoa. Now, I actually did one to test this before. They said they increased the uh, circumference of the um, of the rings whenever you approach it with a large ship. So let's see what happens when we do approach it with a large ship. Hey, it increased. Hey, it increased. And it auto targets the, the things for you so you can see where they are. Now, a lot, uh, some of the audio sounds aren't quite there yet, which is totally fine, but that's fine. Let's, oh, now, while we're here, let's have a look at some of the racetrack. You can see the racetrack being, being done over here. So you can, uh, I think it probably starts, whoa, 
Ooh, my head. You can see I'm turning my head because I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I'm turning my head to look at the screen. You can tell I don't I don't play kind of like uh, rotating games very often. But oh, look at that. That might be a little spectator spot. That would be awesome. Uh, yeah, so I can picture an export going around here. Vroom, new, and then you come out uh, with a with a giant acceleration, and that's probably like a oh oh look at that oh yeah, and then you jump all the way down. Ah, oh, and it, oh. No, obvi okay. Obviously, my ship is too large for this. Let's go ahead and spawn something else, shall we? So this is the experimental mode, right? You can get out here and you can actually go out of the entire showroom for a little bit for, of the actual, of the small space. Now, I wonder, I've got 10 minutes left. You know, let's leave it for now. Let's go uh, to the main menu and let's load up the Oni space station as well as outpost, uh, what was it? 39. Mm. Of course, it's a crap computer, so it's going to take a while to load up, which is fully expected, right? We're just going to chill for here. I'll play some music for you. It is taking a while to load. Hmm. Why? Oh, no, there we go. Oh, it's, yeah, it's really not optimized. Holy crap, it's frozen. It is frozen. Hmm. First time, guys. I hadn't loaded into it before. So I wonder if it will take a little bit of extra time just to load up. Or just wait. Just wait. Or just restart the entire bloody thing. Or... A few moments later. Hmm. It's frozen. It's frozen. It's a frozen. Mamma mia. Okay, no, it's not optimized yet. Probably on a really bad system. That's why uh, I think it's doing this. So it's going to cut, come back to it, and we'll be good. Let's see if we can load up the Oni CSS space station. And we're back. Let me just log in here with my details. Don't be listening to my password. Now, let's go ahead and click experimental mode again. Let's click play and let's go and load up. I'll have to try and load up and just get Outpost 39 myself uh, later on. Let's look up the Oni CSS and let's have a look. Ah, so that loads a little bit easier. We are now in the Oni space station. Oh, it's much smoother. It is a little bit more optimized. It's a lot smoother, actually, being honest. A lot smoother. Let's first get a small ship and let's fly around, my friends. Let's go. Oh, let's see where else we can teleport actually around here. Uh, there's nowhere to teleport in the only CSS so far. Let's go to the ship pad and let's see if we can just get a small, uh, yeah, PSX4. Let's load that. And let's go fly around this baby. Flight mode. Well, there seems to be a ship here already. What ship is this? Hey, what grey box ship is this? I didn't even notice this. What is this? C11? Why Why is it clipped into, like, the structure? C11 or C9? I don't bloody know. You guys will tell me. I'm sure you'll tell me. Let's go to the main section. Well, actually, let's, let's get a good view of it first. All right, let's see. Whoa, looks good. Looks good. And looks how long it is. So that's 39 kilometers all the way across. And there's some other, there's some other stuff in the background there. Uh, let's 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 uh, go straight first. And you can see there's some barges around uh, as well. Pretty awesome. Let's go into the Oni CSS. Now I want to stop on one of these rings here and just um, enjoy the view and let's see what we can see. I hopefully, hopefully it doesn't bang me out. It's just a force field. Yeah, we're past it. Okay, let's, let's, uh... Hover mode. Let's, uh, get off. Oh, no, it clipped out. Where am I? Ah! Uh, where am I? Am I inside? 
Am I inside? I think so. Let's go and see. Oh no, I'm below it. No, I'm below it. Let's reset. I think you hold F1. Yep. Character reset. Yes. Okay. There. Oh man, what a shame. I gotta start again. Come on. Give me another ship. Another ship. Don't worry guys, there's gonna be heaps of bugs. Don't even worry. This is whole part of it, right? They'll, they'll, someone's probably seeing me say, hey, you know, that, that section is all bugged. Don't go there. Um, okay. Flight mode. Where was it? This way. It's behind us. I think they should spawn us inside it, right? I think it makes sense to just spawn us in there. All right, let's go all the way in. There's some water there. There's some nice buildings here. Oh, imagine if they hid in some... I, I don't know why. There, sh there should be... How do I exit again? Hover mode. No! Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Wow, it's a lot bigger when you're actually on walking by yourself. It's a lot, lot bigger. Look at this. So big. Let's get a good view of it with the photo mode. Oh, why can't I go up? I can't go up with the uh, photo mode, don't know why. Hmm. Anyway. I feel like I'm gonna stop. There's a bunch, there's a bunch to explore here. It's all experimental for now. Let's go back to the main menu. Uh, like, we'll, we'll have time. We'll go through all of this later. I just wanted to see what it looked like first and it feels good. I can play it. I'm happy I can create more content on it. Let's go ahead and go back to the experimental uh, uh, build in the showroom. And I want to see if we can, um, can just get some ships flying and just see what it looks like, right? All right, so let's go to the middle. And let's go and spawn one ship or two, shall we? Only the ones I own, a forward liner. Let's, we've got the hero. Uh, I wonder if the evac, you can spawn the, is it a gray box? No, it's a gray box only. I want something that's uh, a little bit not more than gray box so we can see some colors. Everyone's seen the Fimble Lobby, the PSX4, the Calico MedTech, you can already. Uh, the Jet Jet is okay. No, you can't spawn that. X5, no. Thrill of Life, no. Hero, yes. Bios, yes, but it's a clay model still. Pack Light is... Look, the Pack Light is in final, but you can't get the ship yet, so they'll probably make it available later. Oh, the Agrika Nirich. I wouldn't mind seeing the Agrika Nirich. Oh, oh, yeah, look at it. That's the Agrika Nirich. Look, there's a gun on there already. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's the same. They, you will use the same assets from the different uh, um, PS ships or like the Ogrika uh, series. It does look cool. Whoa. Look at how it hovers. I fucking love it. Are you going to let me out? Come on. Oh, I have to. Do I have to? Uh, do I have to request for this out? Oh, is it the other way? Oh, it will go the other way. Flight mode. Whoa, it's really fast. Holy crap. It's really fast. Oh, we have, we have the, we have the, uh, we have the start of the, uh, whoa, sorry. Hover mode. Flight mode. Where's the start of the... There we are. Sorry. God damn it. Come on. Stop. Okay. The Ogrika Nirich is really fast, guys. The trees are in the way. Get out of the way. God damn. Oh, my God. Hover mode. So, what a headache to get here. Now, I was just going to see. I should actually get out and explore the start here. 
How do I get out of ships? Hover mode. Okay, so this is the start. Very good. We've seen this before. Ah, uh, yes, I was actually going to see. I'm very glad there is a ship spawning location here. Let's see if we can just spawn. Uh, I'll try the El Greco Nirich, but I want to see if I can just spawn like maybe a Unibomber or a Visa Solo, a Scud. No. Uh, I want to do only compatible. Oh, so there's only five compatible here. X4, Nirich. Okay, let's just go to the Nirich, right? And let's try the Nirich out on the racetrack. Let's see what it looks like. That's hover mode. Whoa, did you see that? Whoa, the race mode is working. The race mode is working. It's very, it's very early days, but it works. It works, guys. Holy crap. The race mode is working. I wasn't expecting the small race mode to be working that much anyway. Now I wonder if we pick this up, it will give us... Oh yeah, do you hear that? Amazing. We just need a bit, like, a bit more animation, a bit more life to it. The fundamentals are here for the race mode. Look at this. It's here. People are going to have so much fun with this. Imagine like we'll be having race timers and uh, people going up against each other. Oh, and yes, of course, dual pathing. Thank you very much. Dual pathing is a must in any like racing mode. Be like, oh, no, go here. No, go there. No, this is better. I know a little shortcut. Or like, follow me. If you cut them here, you can get in front of them. Oh, let's try. Now... There's no other, um... It seems it's stuck in hover mode, unless I'm doing it wrong. I can't get it out of hover mode. In which case, your Grick and Nourish is actually not that nice. Oh, there's a little bit over here. Let's go this way. Oh, imagine getting someone. Ah, oh, very nice. Imagine someone's in front of you, you could just shoot them. And of course, you have shields on the left-hand side as well, right? Now, the racetrack is actually not bad so far. Um, of course, it's just the starting, right? There's so much improvements that we can be made on it. You gotta love these U-turns. Uh, there's a lot of uh, maneuvering that you'll have to do. And definitely, all the different ships will have manu different maneuvering uh, statistics. And so, you will uh, have a very, very large difference in customization on what ships to do and be like, oh, we're doing this track. Well, I'm going to go to this route. And so this, this ship is better for that. I love this middle. I love this. Very good. They needed to, they need to put more in there. They need to extend that if they can. Yeah, they need to extend that. Definitely. Like kind of like drag racing. Um, and you go like, you have to be very quick with your maneuvering to go this way. This is when the speed, this is when the last, you know, the, the speed racing comes in. Oh, this is awesome. Ah, nice, nice, nice. That was good. That was good. A bit more animation would be good. Like, ah, oh, I keep saying stuff, but don't even worry. There's so much. Oh no! Oh, what happened? Remember, this is all. This is all just starting out, right? Oh, do I? Ha what happens if you? Uh, do you have to go past the gate? Twenty-six. Yeah, you do have to go past the gate. If you you have to go past the gate, okay? You can't just like uh, skip. You can't skip at all. I'm sure people are going to find places where you you can try and skip. Twenty nine. I'm getting better as time is going. Trust me. Like as I get used to the maneuvering, and when you play with one ship for a prolonged period of time, you will be able to get better with it. Ah. Oh. Nice. Three minutes thirty three. Now I know you guys will definitely be able to beat me with that. I I'm actually so happy that we can we can do it. And look, and even better, you can do the other side as well. Oh no, it just spawns you under it. They just need to fix that very briefly. Um, yeah, they just need to... Uh, I hope it's the, it's a circuit and... Is it a circuit? Yeah, I think so. Let's spawn just an X4 because people are probably be, going to be doing this a lot with the X4. Let's get that ship. Uh, that ship loading time. Amazing. Whoa. Yes. 
Yeah. Oh, the X4 is even faster, guys. Look at this. Wow, it's really fast. The X4 is really fast. I didn't think how fast it was. Oh, it's on flight mode. So you can do flight mode. Oh, well, that's kind of cheating-ish. Nah. All right, I'm just going to stop experimenting. I'm going to stop messing around now. Give me some time. Uh, let me plan some videos on this because there is a whole bunch we can cover. I'll go back to the main menu. Um, let's go and see what else we can see. I don't think there's nothing, nothing else anyway. I'll stop there. Thank you guys very much. I'm going to edit this video, just cut out some of the waiting time so it's a lot shorter for you guys. But that was, in a nutshell, uh, 2.1. Don't worry, I'm going to make way more videos. Uh, trust me. Um, and I'm sorry I can't show you the really, really nice kind of high quality graphics. Let's see if I can just even put it on Epic and let's see. Let's see how damn laggy it is. Oh yeah, you can see the whole uh, shadowing in the background, like the, the, the dimensions of it. Um, I, you can see, damn, you can see how, uh, laggy it is. I'm not even going to try that. So yeah, I'm going to stop it there, guys. Thank you so much. As always, I'm going to bring you more videos. I promise. Uh, I'll leave you and love you. Bye for now.